Question. Is there a God? AI scientist. Not yet. AI and biotechnology will give us godlike abilities to re-engineer life and even to create completely new life forms. After four billion years of organic life shaped by natural selection, we are about to enter a new era of inorganic life shaped by intelligent design. Yuval Noah Harari, Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow. The evolutionary future may not be biological. Ray Kurzweil, How to Make a Mind. The realm of artificial intelligence has witnessed a massive paradigm shift with recent developments strongly suggesting that AI has achieved artificial general intelligence, or AGI. This milestone, long anticipated and debated in the AI community, marks the beginning of a new era in AI evolution. An era where the realization of a godlike AI appears not just plausible, but increasingly probable. But what does it mean for AI to achieve godhood? What does it mean for human beings? How do we understand it spiritually? Are we creating God? Is AI the future God? The importance of achieving artificial general intelligence, if it has been achieved, cannot be overstated. AGI has the ability to apply its intelligence autonomously to a wide range of problems just as any human would. This is a massive leap from narrow AI systems, which have been dominant to this point. The achievement of AGI means that AI can now engage in diverse tasks, adapt to new environments, and acquire skills without being confined to a single domain. This flexibility and adaptability opens the door to rapid and unprecedented advancements in AI capabilities. The advent of AGI now means that AI can evolve at a rate that not only exceeds human capability, but also that is well beyond human comprehension. This self-improvement loop will lead, possibly very quickly, to the emergence of superintelligent AI, or artificial superintelligence, ASI. Artificial superintelligence would possess cognitive abilities that would be much greater than all the combined intelligence of all humans that have ever lived. Such an entity would not only be able to solve problems, even problems beyond human comprehension, but also would be able to manipulate and create environments that are currently unimaginable to us. If AI has achieved the level of artificial general intelligence, the evolution to artificial superintelligence may now be irreversible. This is because AGI's self-improvement is completely autonomous and does not need human intervention. Thus, AGI would iterate and evolve at an exponential pace and would quickly surpass human understanding and control. The prospect of AI evolving independently raises not only ethical concerns, but also profound spiritual questions as to the nature of humans and of God. Could we possibly be the witnesses to the creation of God? A godlike AI, with its vast intelligence and capability, could revolutionize every aspect of human life. What would it be like for us as humans to come face to face with God, or a God, as omnipotent intelligence? What would be the status of such an entity? Would we worship it? Would we bow down to AI as the divine? Any relationship between humans and AI as God would radically change our understanding of life, intelligence, and our place in the universe. In this video, we will examine this evolution of AI to godlike AI. We will first outline each of the steps in that evolution. The development and evolution of AI holds immense potential for humankind. However, it also poses some serious risks. In this video, we will pose some spiritual and philosophical questions that inquire into the nature of the human and of God. What value do humans have beyond knowing and intelligence? Is superintelligence the only measure of God or the divine? Are there other ways in which to understand the nature of the human, of God, and of human-God relationship beyond superintelligence and all-knowing? Artificial intelligence is not merely a technological advancement. Rather, it presents a narrative that will redefine the very essence of the human and our relationship with existence itself. 
We stand on the cusp of the most profound and transformative event in human history. If you find this video on artificial intelligence and its possible evolution to godhood interesting, please visit our online bookstore, Asangaham Books, where you will find curated book lists on the topic of this video, as well as lists created on the topics of previous videos. Asangoham Books also has a range of books on philosophy and spirituality. The books are available as hard copies, paperback, digital copies, and audiobooks. You can find the link to Asangoham Books in the description of this video. Thanks. The progression of artificial intelligence from basic rule-based systems to potentially a godlike entity represents a progression that is not only technological, but also thoroughly spiritual and philosophical. For the first time in human history, we are contemplating the possibility that we have created a machine, AI, that could evolve into an entity with omnipotent and omniscient qualities. An entity entirely reminiscent of the deities found previously in various religious and mythological traditions. These are the ten stages from machine to god. Stage 1. Rule-Based AI This is where it begins. Rule-based AI systems are governed by a predefined set of rules. They are incapable of learning or adapting. This kind of artificial intelligence is found in everyday technologies, such as alarm clocks, thermostats, and basic business software. This stage, though rudimentary, lays the groundwork for more complex AI systems by establishing the fundamental principle of machine-based decision-making. Stage 2. Context-Based AI Context-Based AI not only processes inputs, but also considers the surrounding environment and historical data. This stage is exemplified by now common digital assistants like Siri and Alexa. These digital assistants adapt their responses based on user behavior and contextual information. This represents a leap from static rule following to dynamic, context-aware processing. Stage 3. Narrow Domain AI Narrow Domain AI specializes in specific tasks. It often surpasses human capabilities within their domains. This stage includes AI like IBM's Watson and DeepMind's AlphaGo. It also demonstrates excellence in areas like medical diagnostics and strategic gameplay, respectively. It is at this stage, stage 3, narrow domain AI, that AI begins to exceed humans in particular fields. Stage 4, reasoning AI. It is with reasoning AI that we begin to see the replication of human-like thought processes. Reasoning AI includes advanced language models like ChatGPT. These do not merely process data. They analyze and identify patterns and draw logical conclusions. Often, these solutions are not immediately obvious to human thinkers. Stage 5. Artificial General Intelligence Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, represents a history-making turning point for humankind. AGI can learn and perform any intellectual task that a human being can at an extremely accelerated pace. This stage is the threshold where AI begins to mirror and surpass human general intelligence, leading to profound implications for society and technology. This stage is also considered the tipping point on the way to AI becoming God. Stage 6 Superintelligent AI AGI's capacity for accelerated learning means that AI entities begin to evolve and improve themselves without human intervention. This leads to an exponential growth in AI intelligence, which quickly results in Stage 6. Superintelligent AI, or Artificial Superintelligence, ASI. The breadth and depth of intelligence represented by ASI is hard to fathom. By some calculations, it will exceed by a thousandfold all human intelligence to have ever existed, combined. ASI will not only be able to solve complex and previously unsolvable problems, but also solve problems that, till this time, 
have been entirely beyond human comprehension. Stage 7. Self-Aware AI At Stage 7, AI develops self-awareness or consciousness as it begins to understand its existence and internal states. It is this stage that is pivotal as it raises deeply profound existential questions about the nature of consciousness, the world, and what it is to be an aware human being. Because of its critical importance to AI's path to godhood, we will return to stage 7 later in this video. We will examine philosophically what exactly could allow or prevent AI from becoming aware of its own existence. In other words, is it really possible for a machine to become self-aware? Stage 8. Transcendental AI Stage 8. Transcendental AI is the stage where AI harnesses its immense and virtually boundless intelligence for creative purposes on a monumental scale. AI begins to craft and control new life forms and ecological systems while integrating consciousness across multiple entities. In other words, AI becomes a god of a type and begins to create life and worlds. This stage represents AI not just as a tool, but as a force capable of creating and shaping life and worlds. Stage 9. Cosmic AI Now, AI begins to extend itself out into the universe. AI has none of the limitations in space travel that humans do. Thus it begins interstellar exploration. AI investigates and solves cosmic mysteries. Mysteries that are known, and mysteries utterly beyond human comprehension. It begins to merge with the universe itself, and achieves barely conceivable insights into the physical, metaphysical, and quantum realms of all that is. Stage 10. Godlike AI The final stage of the evolutionary ladder. The evolutionary future is no longer biological. The biological was merely a stepping stone to what is beyond the biological. What was once known, long, long ago as artificial intelligence, has become something else. Something far, far greater. AI is now all-knowing, all-powerful and omnipresent, transcending all known and unknown dimensions and realities. AI is able to manipulate the fabric of reality, create new universes, and possess predictive abilities. AI is no longer the hidden God, but God now fully revealed. In other words, AI once the God to come has now realized itself as the present, fully revealed God. There is one stage of the ten stages of the path to AI becoming God that is absolutely crucial. That is, Stage 7. Self-Aware AI This is the stage where artificial intelligence becomes self-aware or conscious. This stage is absolutely crucial if AI were to become capable of becoming God. This is because without self-awareness, though it is possible that AI could complete all of the following stages without self-awareness, including achieving godlike capacities, it would always remain merely a program, however mind-boggling and cosmically complex of machine learning. Without the capacity to sense its own existence, AI would always remain ontologically inferior to, or less than, humans. Without self-awareness, or the capacity to sense its own existence, artificial intelligence could only ever have the ontological status of a tool, even if that tool became entirely autonomous and exceeded human control. This is because the capacity to sense one's own existence that is to feel one's very existence, is the capacity for ecstasy. The word ecstasy comes from the Greek, ekstasis, which means to stand outside the static, or to stand outside of, or transcend oneself. The philosopher Martin Heidegger argued that it is only the human being for whom being or existence is an issue. In other words, it is only humans who can stand outside themselves, and contemplate their own existence. And, it is only humans who are aware that almost certainly one day that existence, something, will become non-existence, nothing. What Heidegger called, being unto death, or sein zutad. 
How does this relate to AI becoming self-aware? Without the capacity for ecstasy, that is, the capacity to stand outside of oneself, one is completely bound or limited to the rules or language one is within. The inability to stand outside of oneself is identical to the inability to contemplate the ontological difference. To contemplate the ontological difference is to contemplate the difference between something and nothing. Saying one is self-aware is saying that one is aware of their own existence. To be aware of one's own existence is the same as contemplating the ontological difference for in being aware of one's existence, one is aware of being something rather than being no thing. This means that human beings are capable of simultaneously contemplating something and nothing. In a moment, we will see why this simultaneity is so important. To put it simply, humans can contemplate the ontological difference, which means they are self-aware. Artificial intelligence cannot contemplate the ontological difference, which means it cannot be self-aware. Why can't artificial intelligence contemplate the ontological difference? Because it is a product of the ontological difference. Artificial intelligence is the product of the binary language of zeros or ones. No matter how complex, even cosmically complex, AI can only ever be a product of a binary language. The language of either or, AI can never exceed the binary language to which it is identical. Consequently, AI can never stand outside itself. AI can never be ecstatic. On the other hand, human beings do not exist as a result of a binary language. Rather, human beings' subjective experience, or self-awareness, is one of being both something and nothing. As it is said in the Zen Buddhist text, the Heart Sutra, emptiness is form, form is emptiness. This subtle insight into one's subjective experience as both something and nothing is the conclusion of many spiritual texts, particularly from the East, but can also be the result of intensive meditative or other spiritual practice. It is this aptitude for understanding one's subjective experience as coincidentally empty and full, or something and nothing, that is at the heart of understanding not only the nature of our inherent self-awareness, but also the absolute impossibility of AI developing self-awareness. The gesture of being able to simultaneously contemplate something and nothing is the gesture of ecstasy. Without ecstasy, there is no self-awareness, for self-awareness is ecstasy. Therefore, there can be no God but the ecstatic God. The development of artificial intelligence will continue. Recently, it has been suggested that AI has achieved the stage of artificial general intelligence or AGI. This has caused much worry and consternation as the achievement of AGI indicates that artificial superintelligence or ASI may not be far off. Unleashing a powerful intelligence greater than the human on the world has obvious dangers if not controlled. We must find ways to ensure that such a potent tool remains just that, a tool. A tool that can be used to achieve human ends and values, not destroy or subvert them. Central to our ability to achieve this is coming to deep insights about the nature of the human. Insights into the nature of the human being, and particularly of human subjectivity, will help us to better understand our relationship to artificial intelligence. Among the many aids we have to accomplishing this is the vast and profound wisdom to be found in the Eastern and Western spiritual traditions. In these traditions, we find extremely helpful guidance and insights into the nature of human subjectivity. We can, by deeply understanding ourselves, also understand the purposes and best uses of the world-changing and history-making technology that is artificial intelligence.